Jinx495. I don't believe I've ever played against this person. I always try to wager if I played against someone or not. Seems like a great opener. Midrange dot deck. I mean, if we don't have to pay the life. Fatal push would be actually kind of sad. Yeah, there's no fatal push. Nice. Nice. Grixis control, probably. Or death shadow would probably make a little more sense. Especially given that they're going shock. Sh okay, it's death shadow. <laughs> we have officially... I mean, this is death shadow, right? They just went to 14 life. Purposely. Oh, well, that's just good. I feel like you just jammed the tireless tracker here. Green, green, green. Does Death Shadow play Search for Ascanta, though? That seems a little strange. Maybe this isn't Death Shadow? Huh. Well, I like Jason. There's nothing like a good JTMS. Probably Fate Seal myself. Put that on the bottom. F6 away. to the promised land. Maybe this isn't Death Shadow. Has a couple of flex. So it looks like Yeah, it looks like Grixis control to me as well. But if you're playing Grixis control, you probably wouldn't purposely shock twice off of fetch. Yeah, that kind of just seems like not good magic. Because, like, they could have just fetched it. The, oh, you know, maybe they're trying to draw another land. I guess that would make sense. They're about to flip it, so I'm just blowing that shit up, dude. Blue, blue. Little Jace. Spell Snare. All right. Well, Pierce, they just have the answer to everything. Play a creature, terminate. Play a thing, dread boar. Play a two-drop Spell Snare. Snapcaster Mage is something we have to consider. I like keeping the Noble Hierarch alive, though, for like a number of reasons. Instead of just swinging for one, I like playing the Grim Flayer. And then if things don't work out, using Field of Ruin. Lightning Bolt. Creature, Planeswalker, Sorcery. Mm. I guess... The land? Because <laughs> this will make it a 4-4. So you guys also agree to field the Black Source. I feel like that makes the most sense, right? Getting a Swamp. All right, it's just alive. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I think that was just a misplay by the opponent. They didn't see that line. Snapcaster Mage on. Terminate. All right, my creature's dead again. I'm not even upset. <laughs> not even upset. <laughs> So Tyler's Tracker is such a good card, man. 
Oh, jeez. How are we winning this? Like, it's gone pretty bad for us so far. Like, they've killed everything. And somehow, we're really in this. Oh, they're on two cards. And I've got two creatures and two clues and a thread in my mana basis. Now, Gurmag Angler would be problematic, quite honestly, because, well, Tireless Tracker can't swing through. If they kill the Tracker... They've got one mana floating. We can just swing with the tar pit again. Fetch land? Eh, it's not as good anymore. Yeah, noble tar pit actually does seem really good. I'm gonna just have to agree with you on that one. Hmm. Well, if we run out of threats, I suppose that's a way to lose the game, but Noble Tar Pit is still just going to keep clocking away here. <laughs> I wonder if it's Cryptic Command, guys. I mean, I'm still swinging with the Creeping Tar Pit. It's just correct here. If it dies, it dies. That's fine. I play Tireless Tracker. doesn't get Cryptic Commanded. All right. Guess we just play Tireless Tracker now. I'm probably using the Noble. Sure. Tracker. Uh, I like just getting more cards here instead. Getting as many draws off the tracker as we can in the control mirror like clearly makes a difference here. As much as I'd like to just replay the tar pit, getting two extra draws seems really strong to me. Bolt. All right. Sure thing. Fatal push. Uh, that's not bad, actually. Fatal push is pretty decent here. Inquisition of Kozilek is very good here. Cryptic command. Uncastable cryptic command. Um, okay. I guess we cast Fatal Push anyway. We crack like this. That's awkward. I think it makes sense to deploy the other Hierarch here. Maybe should have left open a different mana. Might have just been a misplay there, quite honestly. Field of Ruin, alright, sure. We're out of basics. That's what we call Wasteland in the business. Thought Scour, okay. So their hand is Cryptic Command. That's maybe relevant. Might come up. That just connected? Cool. Figured they'd panic cryptic or something. Because I figure... These are pretty good threats in play, right? Like, swinging with nobles will kill someone. Mm. 
Mm, you swing first because I don't really want to get this countered. And it's lethal, so. Exalted, exalted. You have to cryptic here. Oh, they fatal push? Sure. I'm not going to cast this Thought Scour on my own turn, though. If anything, you have to cast it on their turn. An old woman showed up at Papa Wizard's house and beat him to death with her old... <laughs> Is she old? I guess she's probably old, right? I haven't really inspected a noble heart too hard before. I mean, she does have granny arms. Granny arms dot magic card. Is that the new name for Noble Hierarch? Would you like to cryptic? It's alright, we're only going to draw lands this game, people. That seems pretty darn. <laughs> Can't play it into the cryptic, obviously. But, uh... Let's go, granny arms, McGee. Down to one! <laughs> right? Alright. I'm not going to play the Jace because it's literally just going to get hit with Cryptic Command, so I'll play the land, though. Creeping Tar Pit. Can't block this turn. Well, Granny Arms, are we going to get there together as friends? Is this how we do it, Granny Arms McGee? I might just brainstorm because they have Dreadborn in their graveyard. Because you have to cryptic this, right? Like, I'll feel the ruins. Actually, the cat's pajamas here. Cryptic bounce your noble. Sure. Oh, tap. I guess that works as well. I'm thinking Chase the Mind Sculptor seems pretty good here. I'm thinking this is what we want to play. Counter Squall. Wow, it was Counter Squall. Well, fuck me then. Have a great stream? Well, thank you. Dude, how did I guess that, though? They've literally had the answer whenever they've needed it the whole game. The call? Dude, I've got the dankest of the calls. <laughs> the dankest of the calls. Tarmogoyf off the top! It wasn't Tarmogoyf. Vendillion click. Targeting? Me? She's dead. She's dead, Jim. My hand is Maelstrom Pulse. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah, we got him with Old Lady Granny Arms, man. That's how magic is played.